Hello guys and welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. So you have this amazing mesh, you've used Live Boolean on it or you've used Decimation Master and now you've got a, you've got a topology that you can't work with. So you'd want to retopologize it in the best possible manner and in order to do this you need to use Z Remesher. But you try it and the results aren't exactly what you wanted. So today I'm going to show you how to use Z-Remesher and what settings to apply beforehand in order to get the best possible result. So stay tuned and I'll show you in just a second. Okay guys, so basically what we have here is a um, mesh that has been boolean, live booleaned. Uh, we've put a cylinder through it, we've put a, another two cylinders through in here and it's give, basically given us this topology uh, which is again unusable um, unless you're happy with how it looks like now, but if you want to deform this in any way, you'll definitely need quads. Or if you just want an overall better topology, uh, your best chance is to use Z remesh it to fix this. Um, again, this can also happen after you use Decimation Master. Um, so it, 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 they, they both will follow the same uh, procedure. So as you've seen in the examples uh, before, uh, you could get some really bad results uh, if you don't apply the right settings. So the first thing that we're going to do to this mesh is we're going to go into uh, polygroups and then we're going to make sure that the uh, maximum angle toler tolerance is set to 15 and then we, play, we press group by normals and what you can see now is that we have these uh, polygroups created uh, based on the normal that it was, you know, based on where the normal was facing. So that that's what's going to give us the uh, a polygroup between this surface and this surface. If you would have a, a bigger angle, then it would cover both the surfaces in the same uh, polygroup, which is not what we want. Because if I press Control, uh, sorry, Shift F to to deactivate the wireframe. I have clearly have a hard edge here. Now it really depends on what you're looking for because if you don't want to have a hard edge there and you want it to smooth out a bit, then you can definitely increase the angle and you know have it as a whole as a as a polygroup. The reason why the po you know one thing that polygroups are going to help with as well is that basically I now have a clear edge, hard edge between this surface and this surface. And that's going to help us in our next step, which is to basically crease the hard edges. So we'll go into geometry on the right side here and we've got, uh, let's close the remesher for now, and we've got uh, the option called crease. So in the crease setting you've got a tolerance of uh, 25 that I, I normally set for hard uh, edges, uh, hard surfaces, sorry, and then we just press crease polygroup border which then will add a crease exactly on the on the border of each polygroup. And if I uh, uncrease all, you can see the difference now. And if I crease again, you can see how the you know the crease will appear uh, on the mesh. Right. So once we do that step, it's just going into Z remesher and basically pressing a few buttons and getting the final result. So we'll go into so again in geometry, we've got Z remesher down here. And the settings that we need to, to apply, it the curves and the adaptive size, it doesn't really matter. You can keep those as uh, the default, whatever, 50-50, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Make sure you uncheck keep groups, because if you keep this checked, uh, well, actually, I can press, press Z remesh it right now, and this will uh, I'll show you. So I've pressed Z remesh it right now, and as you can see, the uh, mesh is broken. So we've got uh, we've got a hole right in here. Uh, ev everywhere there was a rounded surface, we have a problem. And the reason why this problem has been formed, so we'll just press Control Z to go back, is because of the uh, of the topology that we had. You can see all these um, uh, edges connecting in, in very odd places because of it and that's what's causing the the mess the, the, the topology to mess up so much so what we'll do is we'll de we'll deactivate keep groups and then we'll also deactivate um oh sorry actually let's just deactivate key groups and just press press z remesher now and see what results we get um so i pressed it and um yeah it looks uh, decent enough so if we deactivate the wireframe, you can see that the Z remesher has not messed up the hard edges. 
Now you can also see this smoothing effect that has been applied up here, which is not necessarily something that we intended because if we go back into the mesh, you'll see how uh, by re by redoing the Z, sorry, by undoing the Z remesher, we clearly had a hard edge here as well. Um, well, more like, not necessarily a hard edge, but an edge nonetheless that we may want to keep. So what we can do is we can manually crease this edge because uh, based on our poly, um, poly groups, we have the same poly group here. So that's why Zebra Mesh doesn't know that that's a crease that we've applied. So in order to do that, we will, um, we will basically go to the brush uh, palette and we can select Z Modeler. With Z Modeler selected, you just hover your mouse over an edge, keep the, spray sp uh, keep the space bar pressed, and you have an option here called Crease. You select Crease and then you also select the target as being the edge because that's what we're trying to target right now. So we'll press, I was hovering over the edge, we'll press the edge and you can see that that has added a, a crease. You can Alt press on the edge to take the crease away. So add the crease in on that edge and on the edge on the right. So now we have told um, ZBrush and ZRemesher that we have a crease along this uh, side. We'll go on the other side of the mesh and again we'll add a crease here and here as well. And now we'll, we're going to press the ZRemesh um, button and see what happens. So now we clearly have a hard edge right there and we also have one on this side as well which is exactly what we wanted. But we have another problem down here, which has been caused by us adding a crease uh, on, on top. So if we redo and try and figure out why this has happened, is because down here where the problem comes from, um, when we added more creases to, to ZBrush, the way the algorithm works in, in ZRemesh, it just messes up the topology in this area. So what I would suggest to do we can try it, but we don't know 100% if it will work. But I think we have a, a big, a, you know, a high chance of succeeding. We'll press space again as hovering over while we're hovering over an edge, and we'll select the delete option. Then we make sure it's set only to one edge, and we'll start removing some of these some of these uh, edges in here. There's, there's quite a lot of them, so we'll start removing some of the edges and then hopefully this will resolve our issue. As I press them, they get deleted. There's that many of them and they don't even see all of them getting deleted when I do this. Right, so I've deleted quite a few. Uh, our crease is still set up on, on the mesh and we'll, pre we'll press Z remesh it again. And that's it, it fixed it. Right, just to do a one final inspection of the model, I don't see any issues with it. Um, we have a very clean topology as you can clearly see and there's no more errors. So this is our finalized object basically as doing a Z remesh. We might actually have something here. I see a bit of an arc. No, it's, it's just a bit unusual with the crease but nothing problematic on that. Again, this is, um, you know, I've aimed for quite a high amount of poly count. You can definitely decrease that setting and get it a bit lower. Uh, or as low as you as you want and uh, obviously you can lower it uh, but at some point you will break the mesh entirely uh, so yeah I hope you guys have found this useful I think this time around there's been a lot more um, explanations gone into it if you have any suggestions or anything that uh, you think I, I did not cover or I wasn't very specific on please let me know and I will try my best to uh, provide the information that you require uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in.